So you've got an electric oven heating element that you think's gone bad. You've come to the right place. I'm gonna show you how to test, find out if it's good or bad. This one happens to be bad. I've got some damage right here. And in this box, I've got a brand new one. I'm gonna show you how to compare the two. We'll use a multimeter. Simple tool, easy to use. There's some available that are pretty inexpensive. Check out my link on Amazon uh, if you need to pick one up. Very easy to test. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY. Thanks for coming and take a look. I'm Mike. Let's see how it's done. So this is the bad one. Uh, you can see right here, it's got some problems. You got these holes that have been put into it. Um, something spilled here, caught on fire. Caused a real mess with this element. Sometimes you'll find they're broken or have other issues. And sometimes you, you won't necessarily be able to see where the damage is. But this is our bad one. All right, and this is our good one. So let's take a look. You know, with your digital multimeter, uh, they have analog versions and they have digital ones. This is a little bit nicer. It's got some auto ranging features, but they all work in basically the same way. Here's what you need to know. Um, red terminal, for this, we're looking for this little omega symbol. Looks kind of like a horseshoe with some uh, little tails on the end. A symbol for Omega. Um, and if you look around here, we find ohms with uh, the same symbol. So that's gonna be measuring resistance. We're gonna put the black into the common. I'm gonna turn this to, um, to ohms to see the resistance. Now, right now it has an OL and overload. Resistance is a measure of how the electricity is flowing. So there's no electricity flowing right now. If I touch the ends of these together, you see it gets to a very low number here. 0 0.10, depending on where you move it. It was moving a little bit, but 0.3. Um, so that means there's negligible resistance. Electricity can easily flow. It's making a, a full circuit. Now this is low voltage. You don't have to worry about touching them. It doesn't cause problems. So now on this bad one, I'm gonna to touch the two ends. I'm gonna hold it on the two ends. Okay, I'm holding the metal on the two ends and up here it's reading 19 and then over here it's got a capital M and omega. That means mega ohms. So 19 million ohms, 20 million ohms is the resistance. That's really high. Um, if you have an analog version or a, a lower version, you may have different levels of ohms that you have to shift through. You know, there'll be just straight ohms, then there'll be a K ohms for kilo ohms, and then mega ohms. So here's an analog uh, multimeter. And you see right here, you gotta adjust the dial. And there's the ohm symbol. It goes from 200 ohms to 2,000 to 20. K or 20,000, 200K, 200,000, all the way up to 2,000K or 2 million. So you need to go through these different ranges to find out what your actual measurement is. These newer digital auto adjusting ones um, are much easier to use, but they're a little more expensive. So this is really high. It shouldn't be 21 million ohms, 22 ohms, 22 million ohms. So let's come to the good one now. All right, let's test the good one. We're gonna hold it on there. And here we go. It's showing 21 ohms. All right, so hopefully you can see that okay. Notice that the M, the capital M is gone. So this is just 21 ohms straight. Your heating element should be somewhere between uh, 10 and 50 ohms, give or take. So that's how you compare. Old one's got hardly any resistance, you know, 21 ohms. The other one had 21 million ohms. There wasn't really anything going through it. Thanks so much for watching Tomahawk DIY. If you need help replacing an element, I've got a video showing how to replace this element. Um, 
on an electric oven. Check it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like it, share it, leave some comments. Let me know if it worked for you. Also, if you need to buy a multimeter or you need to buy a new heating element, I appreciate it if you use the links through Amazon to purchase those. Those are affiliate links that send a small commission to, uh, to me, to Tomahawk DIY, which helps me produce more great videos and helps support the mission of Tomahawk DIY, helping people in some of Earth's most dire circumstances build better lives. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.